I want to show you the new sales order agent with Copilot in the 2025 release wave one of Dynamics 365 Business Central. We're going to take a look at the sales order agent configuration and some setup. It's easy to do. It'll be easy to follow. And then we're going to look at an example. We'll take the sales order agent workflow and we'll walk through a process from a customer request to a sales order. Then at the end, I want to show you some key system setups. It'll make your use of this a lot easier. This is the basic workflow that comes with the sales order agent. You can make some changes in the configuration and we'll take a look at that, but this is a basic setup. It starts with a request from a customer to the company asking for some information. The company will review it and they'll process it through the sales order agent. The sales order agent will send quote or follow-up email back to the customer. The customer can review and confirm and then send back to the company what they'd like to do. And we'll end up with a sales order and a confirmation to the customer of that sales order. So let's get started. This customer wants some information on the current pricing on several items they've listed in this email. This will be sent to a mailbox that the sales order agent monitors on a regular basis. So let's send that off. When you log into Business Central and you have the sales order agent activated, you'll see this icon up here. So let's click on that. This will show me the current status of the sales order agent, all the tasks it's currently working on, and new tasks as they come on in. Let's take a quick look at some of the setup. If we go here, we can see that we've got basic setup here. We've activated the agent. We're specifying the mailbox that we want the sales order agent to look at to get new requests in. There's one more page here, and this allows me to change the configuration a little bit. And this is the current workflow that comes with the system. I can make some basic changes in the configuration, but this is the one that I'm using for this demonstration. Go back to Business Central and we can see that we've got a notification coming in. This is the one that the customer just sent in to the company. You can see the icons changed a little bit here and I've got this email. Let's take a look at it. We'll open it up. We'll review it. The agent's gonna show the incoming mail. You can see that here. It's from a specific customer. This customer is set up in Business Central and this email address is assigned to that customer and contact. You can see the request here. So the idea here is if this is a good request, then let's confirm it. So now the sales order agent takes over. It's gonna use Copilot to figure out what it needs to do to satisfy this request. It's working on that now and we'll get a message shortly. So the agent has looked at the customer request and has a response. Let's take a review of that response. Here's the response. I can change this text in here if I want to. I'm gonna leave this basically alone because Copilot is already looking at this. It identified the items. It also identified an item it did not find. It found two items that were not available in my system. And this is one of the configuration options you can have in the basic setup. So I'm good with this. So let's go ahead and send it. I'm going to confirm. So the sales order agent will send out an email to the customer with the information the customer requested. So this is what the customer receives in their email. Again, this was created by the sales order agent. You can see all the information right there. So what I can do here is I can respond back to this. I can cancel it. I can add some additional items on here. I can add additional information. And you'll notice there's no buttons here that have preconceived ideas of what the client might want to do. The client can type in what they want based on this information here. So all you need to do is respond to it. I'm going to reply. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to remove some of the items here. I'm going to also add quantities and I'm going to add a delivery date. So as a customer, I'm going to reply back and ask that one of the items be taken off consideration. And then I added quantities for the remaining items here. I also specified a delivery date. So I'm gonna send this back to the company. We'll wait for the sales order agent to respond after monitoring that email account. You can see that it already has here. Here's the email back. Let's open that up. We'll review it. So it seems reasonable. So we'll go ahead and confirm this. Once they do that, Copilot will look at the email and figure out what it needs to do to create a sales quote. Let's confirm it. 
The sales order agent has come back with a response. Let's review the response. Here's the email back to the customer. The sales order agent has added the quantities in that the customer requested. We can see that here. So we'll go ahead and send that out to the customer. And when we do that, it'll send the email, but it will also create a sales quote. Let's take a look at the sales quote. So here's the sales quote. These are the items that the customer requested and the quantities they requested and the pricing for my current system. It also put in the delivery date here. The sales order agent looked at the request from the customer, it eliminated one of the items, it added the quantities, and it added the delivery date. So this is good. So this is the email that the customer received. They received that information that we saw in the sales order agent. Also, the sales quote is attached as a PDF. We can open that up. Here's a PDF of that sales quote. And ask the customer if they'd like to turn this into a sales order. So let's reply to this. So the customer can enter a simple reply saying, yes, turn that into a sales order. We'll send that to the company. And we can see again that the sales order agent has monitored that mailbox. We've got a response here. Let's review it. Here's the customer's response. We're going to go ahead and confirm this. The sales order agent has come back with a response. Let's review it. Let's create the sales order. Let's send that. So that's the sales order confirmation back to the customer. So we look at the sales quotes. We can see that the sales quote has been turned into a sales order. Let's take a look at the sales order. And here's the sales order. It's in Business Central. It's ready to go. The warehouse can now operate on this as a regular order. So we just walked through the basic processing of the sales order agent with Copilot in the 2025 release wave one of Dynamics 365 Business Central. The customer sent in a request for some pricing. It was reviewed by the company. The sales order agent took over, provided that information, created email back, and subsequently created a sales quote and a sales order. So I wanna show you two setup things I did on my system to make this work well with my installation. So the first thing was, is I used a shared mailbox to collect the customer requests. That's the one that we used here. This is a shared mailbox. I'm looking at the Exchange Admin panel. You can see that here. I've got a shared mailbox. That's the one that we used. And here are my other email addresses in Business Central. So that was the first thing I did. I also set up an Azure environment so I could run the sales order Copilot agent. You'll need that and you have to do billing associated with that. There's a number of different documentation pieces for that. It's easy to find, you'll figure it out. But the one thing that is not in there and I had to figure that out is that I need to link that Azure environment to my Business Central environment. You do that right here. This is my Power Platform environment in which I set up the billing for Copilot Studio and I linked it right here. So those two things made it easier to use a sales order Copilot agent with my Business Central system. So I used a shared mailbox for the sales order agent to look at and monitor on a regular basis and it also linked my Azure environment to my Business Central environment. You can see that right here. We took a quick look at the sales order agent some setup that's involved with that. We went through a simple example to show the interactions involved between the customer and the company and the sales order agent. And we looked at some key system setups that I use to make it work in my system. If you're ready to deploy Copilot in Microsoft 365, download our free guide with the link in our video description.